No, this show is fun because um, the first thing you know, I, I try to figure out is who's here and who's not. So I was here last year, and in the same, in the, we have the same spot, but except for millennial, everybody around us completely different. A lot of them went out of business, and this is mobile, so that happens. So the first thing is figure out who's going to be a big player this year, who's not going to be a big player. Um, notice Vilti is gone. Notice uh, a lot of other names are no longer with us. Right? Uh, a lot of new names have come up too. So that's number one. Number two is I think there's a lot of speculation about um, the, the new acquisition that Facebook made in WhatsApp. And uh, I don't know if you guys know that you know it's a messaging service with lots of users. So why would Facebook buy them, right? They're, Facebook also has a messaging service. So what we're seeing is that the messaging services is a, is a different usage than what people use Facebook and other things for. Um, it could potentially overtake social media, we think, especially amongst a very young demographic, and you know that Facebook is slower in uptake of young, uh, younger users. The other thing that I think is interesting is that messaging is actually a more natural platform for commerce. So, um, you know, the Japanese e-commerce player Rakuten just bought um, uh, a messaging service of their own. And the idea is that instead of, um, it's a way for you to buy products, right? So I have to believe that, you know, Amazon or someone is also looking at buying a messaging service as well. Um, so those are the two big things that, that I'm interested in. The Facebook taking over WhatsApp is actually going to be, I think, good for the industry overall. And here's why I think, you know, mobile actually still is begging for monetization mechanisms. So how do people make money on mobile? And I believe that, you know, a messaging app by itself doesn't make any money, right? So it's, it's really in the hands of a Facebook or a Rakuten or maybe an Amazon, if that goes that way, that these things start to make money. And once these players start to, to be able to make money, then the entire industry will start to flourish, right? So in mobile, it's just like the early days of the internet you still have a lot of free services that we don't know the business model. You know? And ultimately, to be honest, just like the internet, it will all go towards commerce or go towards advertising. There's really two ways it can go. Right. Native advertising um, is, is we, we are a huge, huge fan of native advertising. And it's like a lot of buzzwords, it's something that is overused. What is native, native advertising actually is, is advertising that actually uh, blends in with the content you're browsing so that it doesn't interrupt your content experience. You know? So an example is if you're reading a magazine, then it looks like it could be part of the content of the magazine. Or if you're playing a game, it looks like it's part of the game. Why do we think this is important? It's kind of amazing to me that after all these years, the primarily the, the um, most common, uh, commonly seen form of uh, mobile advertising is this ugly little tag on banner in the bottom of your phone. Most often, it's not even in, high de in, in, in re the right resolution. All right, so if you have a smartphone, you can see the pixels, it looks terrible, it's not formatted. Uh, in Mobi, we've actually um, internally set a goal for ourselves to never have to serve a banner ad again because we just think that's, that's got to be terrible for the user. Right? So um, when I tell my friends what I do, um, especially the, those who are not in the industry, what they say is, so you're the guys that serve up those really ugly ads that I don't ever click on? And so for the first time in my life, I'm working in an industry that I'm actually not proud of yet, right? And I think uh, with native ads, we'll be able to take the experience much, much further. Now, mobile video is going to be as big as well. And uh, I would say I would, I would expand video a little bit because people in the industry get a little caught up in the format, which is, I would say, um, uh, a little bit academic. You know? And video, just think of it as a more engaging ad format, similar to what I was saying about native, right? Which is, it's a, it's a better looking ad that I want to look at and play with. So um, certainly there's, um, uh, we believe video will be huge. We're already seeing much better ad performance when there is a video. So if you can see, for example, how a, a game plays and then you download the game, we see that those users are much more likely to continue to play the game. It makes sense, right? They've already seen it. You know? um, we're going, I think videos will go a step further because instead of video, we're going to, um, over time, see playable ads, which are ads that actually essentially almost look like the application. That it's not just a static video that you watch, right? And you stop and you roll your eyes and say, oh, I want this thing to be over with. It's actually an ad that it moves and it responds to your movements, just like an application. So that's the direction we're taking video. I think in 2014, you're going to see 
uh, mobile pivot to become instead of the the you know mobile is the thing of the future you're going to see that people are starting to base their uh, marketing strategies on mobile right and that's because mobile's touching just more and more users at uh, and more points in the user's experience and our biggest clients are already thinking of it that way um, they just the, the industry collectively doesn't know how to do it I think um, you're going to see the um, uh, takeoff uh, this thing you know programmatic as a channel uh, gain a lot of traction but again at the early part of this year I have to tell you most people don't actually know what it means they just know that they get on that bandwagon so maybe next year this time we'll see actually people some people would have failed some people would have succeeded and we'll take a look around again and see who's made it to next year and who hasn't